Hey guys, so I'm going to be making a video on how to integrate Cesium with Next.js. Um, I recently did this and it wasn't the easiest thing, so I figured I'd make a video kind of uh, explaining how I got around some of the problems I had. Um, and I wanted to preface this by saying that I used a lot of code from this Cesium Webpack example repo, which I'll link in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and walk through the starter code that I have. Starting off in the package JSON, we have Cesium as dependency, we have the copy webpack plugin as a dependency, and the Next.js boilerplate dependencies. Next, we're going to take a look at the map component. It's pretty simple. It just returns a div with the ID Cesium container, and it uses a React use effect to initialize the Cesium viewer uh, after the first render. Next, we have the custom app component, and this is necessary because we need to import the Cesium CSS globally. Next, we'll take a look at the index page. It's pretty simple. It just imports the map and returns it. I'll explain why the dynamic import is necessary in a second. Next, we'll take a look at the next config JS file. Right now, it's just returning the base config that Next.js generates. So now that we've gotten through an overview of all the files in the project currently, we're going to go ahead and try to start up the dev server. So if we load the index page up, we end up uh, getting an error because we haven't defined a global variable in our project called cesium base URL. So in order to define that global variable, we need to add a plugin to the base webpack config that Next.js generates. So in order to do that, we go into the next config file and we're going to add a webpack defined plugin to it. And this is saying the cesium base URL is slash cesium. So we save that and then we'll restart the dev server and reload the page. And you see that we get this cannot find module build cesium unminified slash cesium. So the reason we get this error is because cesium is exported as an ES6 module and Next.js on the server side, when it's server side rendering the map, it doesn't know how to interpret ES6 modules. So my solution to this is to turn SSR from true to false. So it just doesn't even try to run the server side rendering code. And we refresh the page. And it looks like Cesium sort of working now. But if you open the dev console, you'll see a ton of errors and there a lot of functionality just isn't doesn't look like it's there. So why is that? The reason you get these errors is that Cesium expects you to statically host certain files in the node modules directory and without those without having access to those files cesium can't work so what we're going to do is we're actually going to create an if statement and we're going to say if it's not the server then we need to statically host these files how do we do that if so we're going to create a copy webpack plugin so what this plugin is doing is it's copying a few directories from the node modules of Cesium and we're moving them to the public Cesium uh, directory. And now remember, we want to move it to the public directory because that's what Next.js statically serves. And we want to prepend each of these with Cesium because we defined the Cesium base URL as slash Cesium. So let's see if that fixes it. Yarn dev. And we refresh the page. And voila, we have a cesium map. And you can use it, zoom in change the layers and yeah there you go that's how you add cesium to next.js